Hey guys, so today we're going to be learning about Bohr models and really what a Bohr model is, is, is just a good way to show um, protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the electrons on the outside area, the electron cloud area. Um, so we're going to be taking what we learned yesterday with Ape Man and then now we're going to be using that information to build a model. Now there are rules um, to build this model, okay? So in the center, this is the nucleus. And in the nucleus, you'll find protons and neutrons. And remember, when you add those, you get the mass number. So the first thing you're always going to do is you're going to fill in the nucleus. You're always going to start from this inside area. Always, always, always. Okay? Then you move outwards. So when you move out, you're going to see this first ring. This is um, where our electrons reside. So kind of like our um, electron cloud. But now we're going to be calling them electron, um, or the shells, energy levels, or orbitals. A lot of you guys were writing the word shell because you were just copying and pasting from the internet last week when I was asking for information about what you learned. So now you're actually going to learn what that word means, okay? And really it's just how many electrons can fit in that first ring, okay? So in this first one, only two can fit. When those two are filled up, then you move on to the second shell or the second level or the second orbital. Now this one can hold up to eight. And then once that gets filled up, you can move on to the next one. So the third level or the third shell or third orbital can hold up to eight. And so an atom is going to have up to seven shells. It could have up to seven shells depending on the atom you're building. And it's going to follow this rule, two, eight, eight. So it's just going to continue um, this pattern, two, eight, 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 eight. So for example, if I built a lithium atom, Okay, um, my atomic number is three. I have three protons and I have three electrons. Okay, and then here, my mass number remember, I round so 6.9 rounds to seven. Subtract my atomic number, which is three, to get my neutrons, which is four. Okay. And so now that I've used Ape Man, I'm just going to build my model. So remember, start from the inside. Protons, I have three. So one, two, three. Neutrons, I have four. One, two, three, four. And then remember, electrons, you start from the outside. I'm sorry, you start from the inside and work your way out. So electrons, I have three. So I go one. I have one more spot here. Two. This shell is full, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Three. It doesn't matter where you place it. Just make sure that your first shell is full. So this is a lithium atom. So remember, y'all, okay? Remember, you want to make sure that you put the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus, and then that first ring can hold up to two, and then everything after that is going to hold up to eight. So each energy level or ring is going to be two, then eight, 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 and so forth. If you have any questions, let me know. So for today's notes, your notes should look like this. So your notes should look like this. So you should be writing down your notes. Um, it doesn't need to be color coded, but your notes on page 25 should have the rules. Thanks, guys.